Mr. Bustani, do you wish to speak the uh, yes, last word? The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, uh, the world is not standing still. Economic activity is going on at a furious pace in Asia and around the world. And, it's, and this activity is not waiting on the United States. So to, to limit TPA, Trade Promotion Authority, only to TPP right now sends exactly the wrong signal. We need to be sending the signal that American leadership is back. We've had far too much inertia when it comes to trade policy for several years now. It's time to move. And so putting the, putting the base bill in play, enacting that, sends that very strong signal that America's back. We're back fully engaged in economic foreign policy. We're back to lead, and the rest of the world's waiting for us. They want us to lead, but they're not going to wait for us forever. And these trade agreements are going on all over the world. So that's my first objection to this amendment. Secondly, sending the signal is critically important from a national security standpoint, because our economics are linked to our national security, and our partners want us engaged, both in Europe as well as in Asia. But if we're going to get back to a global trading system with a trade and services agreement and many of the other agreements we've got going uh, through the WTO, environmental goods agreement, and so forth, we need a strong, robust TPA to put the United States back in a position to negotiate all of these deals. I fully agree with the statements that Chairman Ryan made in opposition, as well as my friend Mr. Brady. Uh, I have deep concerns about the approach. It's a thoughtful approach by Mr. Levin on currency, but I have deep concerns about the consequences of it. And I am very concerned that we, given we have the world's reserve currency, we have, have, we've had a demonstrated ability to, to push others to back away from currency manipulation. We were successful with Japan in the 80s. Why, why do we want to set up a, uh, a proposal unilaterally that would invite retaliation and put us into a bad place, potentially wreck TPP as, a, as an agreement? I think we ought to act on the world stage with confidence. And by putting forth the base bill, this puts those trade priorities in place it's got strong enough currency language to empower Treasury to get engaged further and, and work through multilateral fora and bilaterally to deal with these currency issues. So for all of these reasons, if you believe in American leadership, if you believe that America should lead economic engagement and trade policy around the world, this is the most far-reaching TPA pro proposal we've ever had. I would say let's unanimously vote for this and send a very strong signal to our friends and foes alike around the world that we're ready to engage and we're ready to set the rules for formal engagement with trade. And with that, I yield back. General Neal is back for the time.